tonight on 8 Out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, John Richardson, Sean Locke, Rob Beckett, Josie Long, Vic Reeves, Susie Dent, and Rachel Riley. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy. To 8 out of 10 cats does count down a show all about letters, numbers, and conundrums. Did you know, for example, if all the letters ever selected on countdown were laid out next to each other, they'd stretch for more than 20 miles. And even then, Sean couldn't make a nine-letter word. <laughs> <laughs> the most common first word for a baby in Newcastle is dad, usually in the sentence, when is me dad getting out of prison? <laughs> The 27 Club is the name given to a group of musicians who all died at the age of 27. Its members include Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, Amy Winehouse and, fingers crossed, Justin Bieber. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> OK, let's meet tonight's players. First up, it's Sean Locke. <laughs> Sean has won four out of the last 14 countdowns, although that's all set to change tonight when he'll have won four out of 15. <laughs> <laughs> and joining Sean tonight, it's Josie Long. <laughs> Josie loves the word game Boggle and often stages live Boggle matches at her gigs. What must that be like? The mind can hardly conceive of such a thing. <laughs> Up against him this evening, it's John Richardson! Yay! <laughs> Stand-up comedian, writer, radio host, is there anything John can't do? Yes, he can't leave the house without checking the gases off 15 times. <laughs> John's girlfriend's been with him for nearly a year, and if John's girlfriend is watching, there'll be a helpline number up on the screen at the end of the show. <laughs> what a shame, Jimmy, you delivered those perfectly, but it's been over a year and I have an electric hob. <laughs> <laughs> so the joke's very much on you. <laughs> and John's teammate, Rob Beckett. <laughs> Rob grew up in Lewisham, where, because of his teeth, he was technically classed as a dangerous dog. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't have to buy him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he just called, called me a dog. <laughs> now, Rob, you present I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here now, don't you? Yeah. Now, what's more difficult, do you think, a Bush Tucker trial or going up against Sean on Countdown? Um, if I don't have to eat a kangaroo dick after this, I reckon that'll probably be harder. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's a proper sentence, but I think we all got the gist. <laughs> That was very much an Ikea sentence. I feel all the parts were there. We yeah. could just we could put that together. That's really warm up for the conundrum, that sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Last time you were on the show, you managed a four-letter word. Yeah. That... <laughs> Mole, if my memory serves me correct. Do you think you're going to sort of do better this evening? Well, I hope so, Jim. I can't make any promises, but I'm going to try my best. I mean, I'm enthusiastic. I think. <laughs> and if you can do the scores, I'll just do the morale. <laughs> Chances of it working the other way around are mine, you. <laughs> John, do you, do you give your teammates a pep talk before we come out? Uh, sometimes, yeah, if I think they need it. Yeah. John was about good, actually. He's been... He put his arm around me and was like, it's going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> and let's just stress that I, I put my arm around you in a very much metaphorical sense. Yeah, you didn't touch <laughs> No physical contact. I don't, it's, it's like no wags. No touching before countdown. <laughs> I assume you've not, not had sex for a week. <laughs> I've not done anything for this, so I didn't realise that was part of the deal. <laughs> All happened so far is you've written down the 75 times tables and said, I can have a look at it, if it helps. <laughs> I think we need to go back to the principles of maths, cos while I was writing that down, you went over and said to me, you're just adding 75 each time. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but are we allowed to just write down loads of times tables? You can write down all the numbers in front of you and just write the numbers. Want... That's... So I can use this? I have no idea about that. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's a calculator. 
<laughs> with added fun. <laughs> I get a lot of stick for being a nerd on this show, but I'd like to point out that you just used the phrase added fun, which implies you think a calculator is quite fun already. <laughs> Sean, are you competitive outside of Countdown? I'm not competitive at all. I'm just kind of an easygoing drifter kind of character. <laughs> just, they call me the breeze. Just <laughs> rolling down the road, looking for more adventure, easygoing, you know, just whichever way the wind blows, that's where I go, you know. Everywhere I leave, I just leave footprints, a smile and a faint whiff of chamomile tea. <laughs> how do you psych yourself up? Do you, how do you get into this state where you're ready to play <laughs> the game of Countdown? What I do is I think to myself, at least it's not University Challenge. Because that's really hard, isn't it? <laughs> Whenever I watch University Challenge, I work out how well I've done. How well I've done. <laughs> <laughs> Good done, me. <laughs> I work out how well I've done on University Challenge by how wrong my answers are. They're never right. But if, like, it's a ex question about physics and I say, Kenny Ball and his jazz men, I go, oh, that's, not... <laughs> that's no good as an answer. <laughs> if it's a, a question that requires numbers as an answer and I get numbers, I'm quite pleased with that. <laughs> Josie, what are you doing? I'm just writing out with the timetables. <laughs> I really them. want to win this so desperately with all of my heart. So I'm writing out the 17 you and 18. You do me one as well. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you chosen 14? Cos that's difficult. Like, 10, that's easy. I've got that in the computer already. 14, that... But the 14 doesn't come up on there. No, no, but say there was one where it was, like, a 7 and... Another 7? <laughs> 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 Joseph, is it true that you've just done your maths A-level? Um, I've just done my maths AS level. Why? It's like this masochistic self-improvement thing. I thought it would be a really good hobby, um, but... <laughs> <laughs> I've been studying at my local community college, so it's basically me and loads of 16-year-olds. <laughs> I didn't realise how totally ridiculous 16-year-olds are. Like, they're all really silly, but they're all much better than me at the maths, right? So there was this boy in my class. We had a substitute teacher for one of our lessons, and he was really incredible, because he was the head of department. This boy spent the whole lesson not listening, just leaning over to me, going, Josie, 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 Josie. He's a good teacher, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a guy, in the exams, he wore a lab coat, and I was like, why are you wearing a lab coat if you've got a chemistry exam next? And he was like, no, it, it just makes me feel more clever, innit? <laughs> now, has anyone got mascots? Uh, John, have you got a mascot this week? Yes. Excitingly, I can announce the launch uh, of my new cookbook uh, this evening, Jimmy. I'm tired of getting told I look like Gino DeCampo. <laughs> <laughs> Basically decided it was time to cash in, so I launched John Richardson's cook duck um, <laughs> It's full of all sorts of interesting <coughs> recipes and tips for living. It's mainly cleaning. A lot of people over-focus <laughs> on the recipes, I think, but there's a lot of detail on how to really get those surfaces nice and clean afterwards. <laughs> and as a bit of fun to, uh, to launch the book, I will be giving my answers tonight in food-related ways, Jimmy. <laughs> I like the fact you're basically in a match against Sean here and you're going, I'm going to do this with one hand tied behind my back and still win. I mean, you've picked one of the few uh, disabilities there that wouldn't make any difference to your countdown. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not being cocky, Jimmy, but I think I probably could do this with one hand tied behind my back. Because <laughs> I've mastered the skill of not writing with two hands. Rob, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, have you got a mascot? Yeah, I've got a mascot. Look at this, it. This fell up. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, my bear. It's massive, isn't he? <laughs> Human size. <laughs> We've had some good times. That's where I bought him. <laughs> That's me and my dad. Uh, uh, the bear's in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> this is him on the way home. <laughs> he looks just... worried. He does. That's because he's shit at FIFA. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Uh, Josie, have you got a mascot? Yeah. I thought I wasn't very superstitious, and then I realised just in my rucksack that I've got this weird collection of things that I've started carrying around for good luck. This is a doll that was made for me by a fan. I, I really loved it until I realised it was made out of old socks. 
Um, hang on, right, but I've got these ones. Um, so this is my friend bought me this from when she went to Paris from someone outside the Eiffel Tower and it just looks so grim. That's like a lucky totem. <laughs> and this is a conquer from years ago. I was in a car crash and I nearly died and this is the key to that car, lucky. <laughs> 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 this is the key from my grandma's house. She is dead. <laughs> and um, this is... I write to this guy who was in this group called the Black Panthers and he's on death row, but he shouldn't be there. And he sent me this, which is pretty lucky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is, I've been carrying them all around for a couple of years and I'm fine. Mm. So I just keep thinking, like, what if this combination is really lucky? And if I take one away, that's me done, you know? Like... If I... John, you must understand, that's... Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, John, you know you're mental when someone says something mental and then goes, John, you, you get it, right? <laughs> Sean, have you got a mascot this evening? I don't have a, um, a mascot, but I do have a present for everyone this week. I'd like to give everybody a little <laughs> present. That's lovely. Uh, it's just something, a little something from me <laughs> that I'd like you to enjoy, you know, and help you... <laughs> oh, God! ..enjoy <laughs> <laughs> countdown to <laughs> Tonight is a very special experience yes, for everybody. Lovely. You like them on their past lives <laughs> of Jimmy. Just a nice <laughs> present from me to you. <laughs> Quite chunky, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You've really got to squeeze it down to get anything yeah. out of it, but it's good. <laughs> You'll forget it's in your hand later and you put it in your mouth. <laughs> Okay, over in Dictionary Corner, we've got Vic Reeves. Come on. <laughs> Vic, if you could make up a word uh, for anything, what would it be? Uh, well, words are made up in our house a lot, mainly by my wife, who has a new word every day. And one of the more recent ones is flanugens. Flanugens? She says, like, you've left some flanugens in your drink. To, to, we've got a couple of... We've got twin daughters. And if they take a drink of water, Generally, something comes out of the mouth <laughs> and floats around <laughs> in, the, in the drink, and they Flanugans. are Flanugans. <laughs> Flanugans could catch on. Yeah. Uh, with Vic, of course, is Susie Dent. <laughs> uh, Susie's revealed that she once saw Carol Vorderman being chatted up by some men in their 20s. Sorry, in the 20s. <laughs> uh, Susie, yeah, have you got any pet hates when it comes to words and phrases? Yes, it is people who start every sentence with so. So if you were going to say to me, Susie, how many you words... You just did it there. <laughs> <laughs> you literally just did it in the next sentence. <laughs> Chromatically, I used it in a slightly different way, so I was using it in a... <laughs> <laughs> you just did it again! Sequential yeah. way. No, no, because that's a different use of so. This is my... If you said to me how many words are in the dictionary, I'd say, so there are about 150,000. It's like PR speak, and it drives me nuts. <laughs> So that's my pet hate. So. <laughs> In charge of the numbers, it's Rachel Riley. <laughs> Seems like Rachel's everywhere these days. She's on Countdown, The Gadget Show, Strictly Come Dancing, My Dreams at Night, My Thoughts When I'm Having a Shower. <laughs> She's absolutely bloody everywhere. <laughs> Rachel, you get a lot of fan mail. What's the weirdest thing you've been sent? Um, I got a letter once from a guy who was called Dean, a.k.a. Dean. Um... <laughs> He sent yeah, me, my um, name's Dean, but people call me Dean. <laughs> <laughs> he sent me a whole load of um, design drawings for our clothing business with um, like structure of financial payment for me. I was going to get 5% of anything we made. Um, and he also offered me between £50 and £20,000 in postal orders for sex, but only if I got a 3G phone. <laughs> <laughs> and was that the deal breaker? <laughs> <laughs> now, the dress this evening, you can write on your dress. Yeah, we can do numbers. Oh, like, you can have fun and do that. Is this...? <laughs> it's like an anti... <laughs> <laughs> it's rather fun. <laughs> OK, tonight, the prize the teams will be competing for is this countdown leather jacket. <laughs> Let's do this, John. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's count down, everyone. Time for the first game. John and Rob, your first bit of the letters. Let's have a consonant, please. Thank you, John. Start with S. 
We need an O. We need an O now. Just piss off Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be a vowel. O. <laughs> uh, and another consonant, please. P. And another vowel, please. A. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and a consonant, please. C. And a vowel, please. I. And a vowel, please. O. And a consonant, please. F. And a consonant, please. And N. So, for the first time today, here's the countdown clock. <laughs> Ninja dicks. Uh, <laughs> uh, so what have you got? How many? Four. Four? <laughs> I, think I, I think I might know what it is. <laughs> John, how many you got? I have a six. Oh, Sean, how many you got? Let's go for the... nine. <laughs> and then, Josie, I believe you've got nine just from the look on your face. No, I've just got six. But I was just so glad that I didn't have fewer letters than John that I was like, I'm still in the game! <laughs> OK, uh, Rob, your four-letter word. Soap! <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'm interested in how your thought process was. How did you, how did you see that there? You... Well, you said something that made me suspect <laughs> there was already a word there. <laughs> I looked and I rearranged them so it was soap. Then a load of ninjas turned up and I thought, forget words, that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have the end written down. I don't think it would have helped you. I reckon you're better off with just six letters. Pick six you know. <laughs> 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 OK, John, you're six. Uh, I have the word fiasco, Jimmy. And it's piped onto a cake which you can find the recipe for. <laughs> <laughs> Josie. I've got poison. OK, uh, Sean, with nine, this is huge. <laughs> this is maybe a first for us, OK. Passifoons. <laughs> They're like cakes, but they're not. It's like an eclair, but it's a bit like a macaroon, but it's a passifoon. Is it in the dictionary? Uh, sadly not. Typical. It's typical. That's the attitude you get from her week in, week out. <laughs> <laughs> time and time again, just a negative... <laughs> I mean, what's the bloody point? Why bother? Why...? <laughs> OK, six points for both teams. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> he needs a passifoon, that's what he needs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could they have done any better, Vic? Well, I had syncopation, because it sounds like it might be something to do with jazz, but not syncopation. <laughs> but then I noticed that Susie's also written this down, so I might be in with a chance. Oh, huge! Well, okay, that Susie. Was, that was just the letters on the board. Oh right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. We have got something which sounds rather nasty. What the hell's that device? <coughs> oh, use it on the pen. pen. Use it on the pen. We love the pen. Oh, I think... <laughs> <laughs> Careful where you put the pointy bit. <laughs> okay, what have you got? Um, we have opsonic. What's that? Um, opsonic is a term from biochemistry. It's to do with an antibody which binds to foreign microorganisms. Anyway, it's a seven. <laughs> so at the end of that, both teams have got six. Um, OK, on to our first numbers round. Uh, Sean and Josie, you're to pick the numbers. Um, one from the top and four from everywhere else. Do you want five? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's only the 17th time I've played this, so it takes a while. <laughs> five at once. Ten, nine, five, oh. one, <laughs> three, and the large one, 100. And your target, 376. OK, your time starts now. 
So the target was 376. Sean, did you get it? No, I've got 365. 365, okay. Josie, did you get it? I think I've got 376. Okay, John, did you get it? No. <laughs> Someone sounds a little bit grumpy about not getting it. It's fine, mate. Not bothered. Don't give a shit. It's only a game, isn't it? <laughs> Rob, did you Still get it? doing it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, I didn't. Okay, Josie, let's, let's I hear. I haven't, I haven't. Come on, talk, <laughs> talk me through your working. Well, here's what I did was I was like, right, three times 100, that's 300, brilliant. Five plus three is eight, brilliant. No, How many times are you use... using the three? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I did it. Ah, oh. wait there, wait there. Hang on, I'll just, hang on. <laughs> yeah, I have got it, I think. Okay, how would you have done it? Okay, three times 100. Three times 100, 300. Is it? 10 minus 1 is 9. Yeah, I've got it. 10 minus 1 is 9. Then 9 times 9 is 81. Yeah. And then you take away the 5. Well done. 376. <laughs> OK, so... We just... <laughs> Josie, all we need to do is get you extra time in the exam. <laughs> <laughs> but do I still get it? Because I did technically get it. No. <laughs> you know, see the clock, yeah? Yeah, but Big that... part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Big part of the game. <laughs> The thing about Countdown is it doesn't have many loopholes. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, 9 minus 1 is 8 times 100 <laughs> is 800, plus the uh, 10, the 5 and the 3 is 818, which spells bib. And you won't be needing a bib if you... Uh... <laughs> OK, time to go across to Dictionary Corner. Vic, what have you got for us? Oh. I've written a song, and it's about Susie and I, about our relationship, between, you know, okay. you and me. You haven't seen it, have you? I haven't seen it. Here we are. Ready? A, B, C, you're looking at me. <laughs> I'm looking so fine, you're in ecstasy. <laughs> D, E, F, you're looking so buff. Simply sitting by you is just never enough. Thank you. One, two, three, you know what I mean. I'm looking so hot, it must seem like a dream. <laughs> X, Y, Z, take me to bed. <laughs> oh, shoot me now, because I'd rather be dead. <laughs> I didn't write that last line. The scores at the moment, Sean and Josie have six points, John and Rob also have six points. And here is your teaser. The words are ass glory, and the clue is look it up. That's ass glory. Look it up. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the teaser. The words were ass glory, the clue was look it up. It was, of course, glossary. So both teams have six points. OK, time to mix things up a little bit. They've been playing in teams so far, but this game is just for Josie and John. Josie, your turn to pick the letters. OK, um, could I please have a consonant? Consonant. I'm so nervous <laughs> just to play this. Can I have a consonant, please? Thanks, Josie. R. Oh, it's not going very well. Could I have a vowel, please? E. Oh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, could I have another vowel, please? Oh, Jesus, really? I. Uh, could I have a consonant, please? T. Thank you. Um, could I have uh, another consonant, please? S. OK, um, could I have a vowel, please? O. Could I have another consonant, please? D. Cool. That's what I used to get called as a child. Hey, dear, eat, sod. <laughs> <laughs> could I have a vowel and a consonant, please? An E and the last one, T. And your time starts now.
an eight letter word. An eight letter word? <laughs> yeah. Jimmy, why are you up there? I was, I was fiddling, you know the thing on the side of the chair, I was fiddling. <laughs> I think I overdid it. <laughs> John, what have you got? Just need a pinch more time, Jimmy. I, I'm, a... <laughs> I'm not playing, but I've got a seven. No way. Let's hear your seven. Desired. Well, there's I one D. Six, I've got six. <laughs> John, what are you up to, mate? I'm trying to spell my word in alphabetti spaghetti. <laughs> Is there by any chance a recipe for alphabetti spaghetti? Well, thank you for asking, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> the word I have, Jimmy, is eight letters, and it's not a real word, but I thought it might help Josie in her AS level results. The word I've got is resitted. <laughs> <laughs> Josie, what have you got? Come on, school him. But now I'm really frightened it's not a real word. Tiredest? Like, the most tired? Ooh. Susie, is, is Josie's word in the dictionary? Uh, well, we have this really complicated countdown rule that says if a word has a single syllable, um, you can add the ER or EST without it being specified in here. So how do you pronounce tired? Do you say tired, tired. or tired? I say tired. Tired is fine, then. Yes! Hey. <laughs> Yeah, OK, I was, I was about to ask, could they have done any better than Tidest? Uh, Vic, what could they have had? Tie sorted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going out and make the boss tonight. I can't decide what tie to wear. I've decided what it is. Tie sorted. <laughs> could, could you have had that, Susie? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't want to sound like, I don't know, a little bit like a wuss, but could someone help me down, please? <laughs> <laughs> you could jump down. Yeah, I'd probably, probably just... I might leave it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave. Like that. There you go. Excellent Jimmy work. does all his own stunt. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so at the end of that, John and Rob have six, Sean and Josie have 14. Very good. <laughs> Right, uh, now time for Sean and Rob to go head to head. Rob, your turn to pick the numbers. Um, can I have one big one and the rest all little numbers, please? Okay, so you're going to go with actually doing the maths? Yeah, I'm going to do it and nail him. <laughs> Sorry, Sean, but it's going to get a bit tasty now. Well, if it's Come tasty, on. you're after me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your numbers are 10, 3, 5. Another three, four, and the big one, 75. Oh, here we go. Got you sorted, mate. And the target, 406. And your time starts now. So the target was 406. Rob, did you get it? 405. Yeah. Pretty close. Sean, did you get it? I got 406. Oh, fuck. How did you get 406, Sean? <laughs> five times uh, 75. Five seventy-five is 375. Yeah. Three times 10. Three tens of 30. Which leaves you with 405. Yep, 405. Four minus three is well done. one. Oh, Perfect. Fun. Sean. Okay, so John and Rob have six. Sean and Josie are running away with it. They've got 24. We're gonna, we're gonna just Time to go across to Dictionary Corner. Vic, what have you got for us? I've got this book here, which is an old book of remedies. Ooh. Mm. From 1747. I got it from, uh, from an auction, and it's got some intriguing cures for, for things, such as... The iliac passion, which is colic, kind of colic, hold a live puppy constantly on the belly. <laughs> Not a dead one, Jim. A live puppy. Can you say that? Where are you? The iliac... Look, oh, hold a live puppy constantly on the belly. There you are, see? <laughs> on page 38. Nosebleeds, hold a red-hot poker under the nose, or in violent cases, go into a pond or a river. 
<laughs> on page 39, baldness. Rub every evening with an onion. Or electrify. <laughs> page 67, earache. <laughs> Put a hot roasted fig or hot roll into your ear or have tobacco smoke blown into it. <laughs> be electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, headache. Order a tea kettle to be poured on your head or apply a fried egg. <laughs> onto the head. Or electricity. <laughs> All right, Vic Reeves, everyone. Give a round of applause. <laughs> Lovely. OK. The scores at the moment are John and Rob have six, Sean and Josie have 24, and here is your teaser. The words are shag bins, and the clue is <laughs> they can be very painful. That's shag bins. They can be very painful. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the teaser, the words were shag bins. The clue was they can be very painful. It was, of course, bashings. OK, before we go on, he doesn't actually work here anymore, but for some reason he keeps on turning up. Please welcome Joe Wilkinson. <laughs> Are you here for Rob? <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to? Since I uh, got fired from the last show, you prick. Uh... <laughs> A lot of spare time on there, hasn't I? I haven't been wasting it. I've been uh, attempting quite a few world records, and it's going bloody well, actually. <laughs> like, for example, I uh, currently hold the world record for the person dressed as a toothbrush for the longest. <laughs> uh, six days. Six days. I really, really need a piss now, though. <laughs> uh, I've been doing loads of them uh, with my half-brother, Fabio. He's, uh, he's got a great body, as you can see, but he's dangerously thick. <laughs> And I'll show you why. At the moment, Fabio here has the world record for the world's shittest back tattoo. <laughs> it's actually the U bend of a sink. <laughs> oh, no, mate, that is fucking appalling. <laughs> oh, you'll like this one, Jimmy. Myself and Fabio, we currently hold the record for the world's rudest car airbag. <laughs> Says, uh, says you're an anus when you crash, which I think is a lovely little feature. <laughs> and finally, but by no means least, uh, we have the record for the world's grooviest beehive. These are real records. Shut up, Jimmy. Let's play countdown! <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe, can I just ask one question? Before you had the record, who had the record for wearing a toothbrush uh, for the longest? Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> OK. John and Rob, pick the letters. You, you do it, mate. Cool. Um, can I have a vowel, please? Yep. Are you going to be able to help with...? I might just eat popcorn, if I was. <laughs> OK, well, fine. Wonder why you got fired. Oh, I'll do something. I'll what? You. <laughs> you. I'll do vowels. I'll do vowels. OK. Can I have a consonant now, please? That's not me, mate. <laughs> me. Vowel. And that's about oh, you, That's you, Joe. Vowel. What do you want? E. An E? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got a four again, mate. Just check. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get me an S, please? <laughs> oh, those. <laughs> this is kind of turning into a different game. You might have to fill for a bit. Oh, no, here we go. Yeah. Pubes. <laughs> <laughs> There's not pubes there. A vowel, please. Pubos. <laughs> Please. G. Val, please. I, I, I really don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> uh, have a. An ah! 
<laughs> and uh, consonant, please. All right, have hers, mate, whatever. Um, Z. <laughs> and your time starts now. Uh, Rob, what have you got? Five. Josie. I've got a seven. Could you look any more pleased with yourself? <laughs> That's very good. Sean? <laughs> I've got a two. <laughs> I'm so confident of uh, Josie's seven. Thank okay, you. What's, uh, what's your two? Up. <laughs> uh, well, let's start with you, Rob. I've got, I've got pubes. Um, have you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, but I've got pubes with a Z, though, just because I'm trying to get a bit more urban. <laughs> You've got urban pubes? No, no, I haven't got urban pubes, but I'm trying to make <laughs> my pubes more urban. <laughs> John, you're fine. Just to piss Susie off, I've got so pub. <laughs> <laughs> you might say on a Friday night. So, so pub. pub. So pub, yeah. Who's your seven? I've got gazebos. Wow, what? brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> seven points there for Josie. Um, Nick, Susie, could they have done any better than gazebos? I've got a nine. What nine have you gone with? Use zap bug, which is <laughs> a kind of bleach, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so at the end of that, uh, John and Rob have six, Sean and Josie have 31. <laughs> 31! <laughs> On to another numbers round. Okay, Sean and Josie, you ought to pick the numbers. Can we get one of their big numbers and all the rest little numbers? Yes. yes. Joe, okay. can you handle this? Uh, no, I'm going to attempt another world record quickly. Fabio, let's do it, mate. I'm going to attempt to eat uh, Sunday lunch with the world's longest knife and fork. What <laughs> <laughs> a fucking place to put it, you prick. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> crack on. All right. You just... OK. Bald and I'm impossible, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just... I, I worry for the peas. <laughs> Get a few of them, mate. Don't you worry about that. This <laughs> is <laughs> turkey. I oh, asked for lamb, you knob. <laughs> right, we've got one, three, ten, nine, another ten, and the big one, twenty-five. Target one hundred and ninety-two. Okay, so your target's one ninety-two. Your time starts right. now. <laughs> what eat it? I'll tell you that for nothing. Yeah. Move the button. Put it a bit further away. Yeah. You, you don't know what you're doing, do you? You've got it, you've got it, you've got it. No, just not to the mouth. You need to cut it in half. No, no, I think you can get it in. Just uh, scissor, scissor action. Yeah. <laughs> so the target was 192. Sean, did you get it? Yeah. And Josie? 191. OK. John, did you get it? Yes. Rob? I got 250. <laughs> <laughs> Talk me through that. How'd you get 250? 25 times 10. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Feels like you got distracted quite early on. Well, I got more than the others, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Sean, how'd you do it? Well, I think I've made a mistake here, but anyway, 10 times 25 is 250. 3 minus 9 is 6 times 10 is 60. Take nine it away, it's three. 190. Six times the other ten, sixty. Yeah, one ninety. And then I've used the three again. You can use one, one away from the three, but just I couldn't have done that. So I just have added the one, but oh, I didn't one away. get it. I used the three twice because I thought, why not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, how did you do it? Uh, ten plus nine is nineteen. Times ten is one hundred and ninety. One ninety plus three minus one. Yeah, 192. And interestingly, 192 in my local takeaway is a chicken chow mein, and you can find it in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. So, 10 points to John and Rob. 
The scores at the moment, uh, John and Rob have 16, Sean and Josie have 31, and here is your final teaser. The words are Randy Bra, and the clue is <laughs> it can get a bit whiffy. That's Randy Bra, it can get a bit whiffy. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the teaser, the words were Randy Bra, and the clue was it can get a bit whiffy. It was, of course, Barnyard. <laughs> OK, time for our final letters game. Uh, Sean and Josie, your turn to pick the letters. Uh, Val, please. Uh, Jimmy, do you mind if we do one more world record attempt? Yeah, sure. Uh, I thought it'd be nice if we went for the world record of longest countdown word. Yeah. It, I'm only thinking, can only be nine. Not anymore! <laughs> <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> wow. Go for 13! <laughs> so this could, be, this could be the longest ever countdown word. Yeah. Yeah, so don't fuck it up, guys. <laughs> Hang on, I need a new piece of paper for this. I need a bigger piece of paper. <laughs> you could write a tiny bit smaller. <laughs> Not with this thing, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we'll take it in turns. Val. Go on, Jay. I'm an absolute bag you, of nerves, You do the next one. <laughs> e. A. Consonant, please. D. Val. I don't know, yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> okay, with you. Consonant, please. Oh. Val. Yes! O. Oh. Consonant, please. W. Shit. <laughs> wow. I like this. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, consonant, please. R. A vowel, please. Small L. <laughs> uh, consonant, please. Now for the bonus oh. letters! Woo! <laughs> 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 Consonant, please. Ooh! <laughs> Another consonant. Ooh! <laughs> N. Ooh! One more vowel? Mm. Yeah! Do we say? Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> okay, your 30 seconds starts now. How many have you got, Rob? Seven. Seven? I think. <laughs> John? I think I've got a nine. <laughs> Not good enough. Ordinarily <laughs> very impressive. Sean? I've got a seven. Ugh. Seven, Josie? I've only got an eight. Rob, what's your, what's your seven? Injured. Injured. Is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> so, injured so for seven, that's, that's not bad. OK. Sean, your seven? Oh, I've got a nine. I oh, know it's that's two. Late. <laughs> that can't that's too late. That's too late. Defined. Oh. Josie, you're eight. Um, I got rewarded. But I could have, you could have had underwear. Way to piss on my chips. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, pissed on chips. Is, uh... We hardly need to ask. What do you have, John? Uh, underwear or forwarded. Oh. Oh. Ooh, underwear, it's a nine letter word. So, nine points to John and Rob. <laughs> wow. Rachel's got a ten. Got a ten? New world record! <laughs> New world record. <laughs> well won. Susie, was there anything else there? There's underwire to go with underwear. Um, either down or unworried. Lots of nines. How does a dictionary help you get all them? Because <laughs> <laughs> you I've never even seen it like, oh, can I have them? She just sort of goes, yeah, I've got five of them. <laughs> I've read the dictionary. Have you? Give us the gist. <laughs> Seriously, Susie, he's never going to read it. Yeah. Just tell him what happens at the end. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you, but the zygote did it. <laughs> OK. Uh, so now John and Rob have 25, Sean and Josie have 31. So it's neck and neck. I mean... John, Rob, no pressure here, but you could snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Fingers on buzzers. It's time for today's crucial countdown conundrum. <laughs> oh, I feel I've got it wrong. 
I thought I had it, but what is it? I was going to say turbulent, but that says a P at the start. <laughs> <laughs> turbulent. Yeah. <laughs> OK, restart the clock, sorry. <laughs> Josie? Is it reputable? Let's take a look. The final scores are John and Rob have 25, but tonight's winners with 41 are Sean and Josie. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner okay. of a countdown jacket. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, yeah. Let's turn my Let's turn around, turn around, let's see. Oh, yeah. Thanks to all our panelists, our wonderful studio audience, and to all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night. <laughs>